Hello, my beautiful Mystic Tribe members, my wonderful Leo Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your May 16th through 31st, 2022 reading. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. With that, let's go right into the energy. Well, it looks like money's heading your way, my Leo friends. You've got this little page who's announcing it. So this is someone contacting you. It could be an individual or another corporation. It's, it's about a job. And it's about some money coming your way that's already been allotted. Now, if it's not about a job, it could be a lump sum. This Knight of Pentacles is bringing the money regardless. So whatever it is, it is money flowing your direction. So let's move into the rest of the reading and see what's, how that's going to happen. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light. Divine spirit, the three of pentacles, through your own work. We'll talk about that in a minute. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. We receive it in the love and light for which it is intended. And we thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So the Three of Pentacles was a second gut card, and that's the energy of you doing the work through your own hands. Now, that can sometimes get us in the mindset of, why don't I have any help? Why am I having to do this all by myself? I can't believe nobody sees how hard I'm having to work. This is not even funny. Well, let me tell you the reward of doing it by yourself. You don't have to split the money. That's a double profit for the effort that you put in. So, take the money and run, my friends. Here's again, three of cups. Now, this is a double portion being given to you. This is the divine seraphim. They are elemental energies. They are mind, body, and spirit in the Christian sense. But in the alchemical energy, they are salt, sulfur, and mercury. So this is the energy of alignment that happens and all this beautiful blessing flows from it. We have the Eight of Cups. We're now past all the obstacles. You're now on the other side of all the things that you've had to, to overcome. And the beautiful moon is showing you the horizon, which means you can move forward in any way you choose. This is a yes from the universe for you to be able to move forward. So let's talk about this. This is May, right? We're in the end of May. Or the second half of May. If you add three months to May, you have August, which is the 8th. I'm just saying, if some of you might want to know timing, we're talking about that timing. The Nine of Cups is the energy of moving right into what you're aiming for here. Now, for some of you, it could be three weeks, three days. It doesn't have to be months. I'm just I'm giving an estimate because it seemed like somebody needed to know that. Now, this nine means you're in the place of being fat and happy. You're absolutely celebrating, lifting a cup in joy, being in a place of feeling secure and stable and satisfied. This is a yes for your soul's desire to be granted. Sorry, heart's desire. My, my, my mind went a little squirrely there. The, the energy of yes, the universe says you can move forward. And then the energy of it's being exactly what your heart wants. Now we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is the energy of being very much in a fast lane. This is a lightning strike. So it's all going to happen very suddenly, very quickly. Whatever it is, it doesn't have to mean that you have to do something. Something comes in. This is the energy of change in the best possible way. You don't have to make it make sense. Sometimes the, this idea may come in as a divine download and you're like, how in the hell could that happen? I don't even begin to know anything about it. Well, let me tell you a little story about somebody I know who became a tarot reader and didn't think she knew anything about how to use YouTube. Well, that's an old story because we've changed that whole story. And, and here I am talking to you today and you can see I'm, I'm, I'm a little successful. Just a tiny bit. 
So here's the two of swords. I had to get past the fear. And that's where the logic tries to stop you. Oh, it doesn't make sense. I don't see this being possible. You have to get in that, in that manifester's mind and create. Because when you're in the place where you don't know, that's when the universe can make its biggest change. So, get out of the logic. Let the left brain get out of the way. Stay in creative mind. Three of Pentacles, beautiful energy of what we saw earlier. This is the card that was in the second cut. Your ability to lay down the foundation brings back double in value. So you doing the work doubles your profit. And boy, that's a real great energy. This is the chariot. So this is success. This is the Cancer Major Arcana. It's also the energy of being treated like royalty or having a higher... Uh, status being seen in the limelight it's also the Hollywood card for some folks so being very much in that place of feeling like you've really arrived okay now there's the feminine energy of the queen of rods you are a fire sign energy Leo this is the Leo queen when it shows up as the queen versus the king this is the new growth, the new things happening. Fertility is there. It's starting to grow again. So this doesn't have to be a new business. If you own your own business, it means a new, a new charge at the, at the goal, right? We're, we've realigned, we're pivoting, we're ready to take a second run at it. And that's when this page appears to give you some information and help you to, to know what to do next. Excuse me, I got hiccups when I... <laughs> When I do the reading, so you know I'm on point. So here's the Four of Swords, which is reminding you physical care and energy restoration is absolutely mandatory unless you want to find yourself sidelined. Because when we are in a place where we're not paying attention, we get caught up in the natural too much. And if we run ourselves dry in the energy, we will end up on the side of the road. So it's just like your car. You have to call somebody to come bring you some gas. And we don't want that. And the universe will put you on your hind end if you don't take time to stop and reset and restore. Okay? It, it, the universe finds all kinds of ways to make you sit down and take a break. That is the outcome of all of this. So you, got, you go from the 8 to the 9 to the 10. Beautiful progressive energy. This is happily ever after. This is being in the place of peace, happiness, joy, harmony, abundance, healing, all good things. So that's the happily ever after card. And as far as I'm concerned, your best possible outcome, right? So tens are always a very good thing when they show up. That means you're in a cycle of, of renewal. There's your three of pentacles again. So that's the third time it showed up. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Libra, sun, moon, and rising to have the information that they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have, well, look at that amazing card. So this, my darlings, is the happiest, most joyous card in tarot. This is literally overflowing with happiness and, and abundance. This is an opportunity of a lifetime showing up. As the universe says, the seed has been planted and I'm going to make sure that you enjoy the harvest. So it's going to bring you all the way through the cycle protected. Remember, you got the double portion here and the cup is filled with overflow. So that means receiving more than you anticipated in the best possible way. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is the new financial stability that's showing up. As that energy is here, you're very anchored and secure and new growth in the finance, financial area. There's that lightning strike. You got two of them together here. It's not a negative thing. It means instant download, instant understanding, instant block removal, something instantly happening that catapults you forward. 
And this is where you say, okay, I see the lightning strike has happened. So let me, let me check my path here. I'm going to use my soul's light to check the path because that's what this hermit is, Virgo Major Arcana. And it's talking about using your inner light to guide your path and show you the true way instead of just stumbling along and, and trying to grope your way in the dark, right? Here comes the, the devotion to what you've been doing. It's really, really dedicating yourself to your business and, and pulling in that money, being very focused on that money. Don't let other people's drama or distraction of the universe or the chaos of the world come in and pull you off your task. His eyes are closed for a reason. That means you have to be in your zone and don't let anybody take you out of it. Because the minute you pay attention to what they've got going on, you lose your whole rhythm, your momentum drops, and those coins aren't going to be there when you turn back around. Because somebody will have absconded with them. Here is the chariot, which is the beautiful Cancer Major Arcana showing up twice here for you. So absolutely aligned with that. We love that energy. Chariot is meaning above and beyond in abundance. Like really living in a really good way. Moving in the right direction. The Six of Swords. Absolutely being in a place where you can leave the past behind. And whatever you're launching forward into. Launching something new. You're making good headway. And that means being able to make right decisions. You're going the right direction. Now, in spite of you doing all of this and all of these good things. We still get in our head too much. This is the moment where you let the fear kind of eek in on you now it may just come a knocking and you go no fear no <laughs> i'm not having any of that because i'm already knowing that i'm on target i i know that this fear is only showing up to because i feel uncomfortable in this changing energy and and as soon as i get comfortable that you know fear is gone so feel the fear and do it anyway you shouldn't let it stop you because you have this wonderful energy you're learning new things and becoming a master of something new which means or something that you know that you needed to master is being mastered you're getting that full understanding by this intensity of your study as you do that you actually bring in more abundance so the more knowledge you have the more valuable that is and you become more abundant through it and that is the ace of rods that is where you are absolutely in the energy of planting roots flourishing being in the energy of growth and abundance and you have the Taurus Major Arcana, which is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is being welcomed in or being granted admission or permission. So this is the energy of either a large corporation, a university, or a company that has a lot of employees where you're now part of that group. It's something you probably have applied for. So anything that, that you've applied for, this is saying it's happening here for sure and you've got the confirmations of all this stability so allow yourself to receive this energy stand in the energy of knowing that the universe is working in divine timing and you have everything you could possibly hope for so many blessings to you my darling leos peace happiness joy abundance prosperity healing and all good things to you i will see you again in june namaste my friends